Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Devotions with Dennis for June 10th. All right, so today we're going to get into a little bit of what I call practical Christianity. But again, as we do every morning, let's sing our prayer song to the Sacred Heart of Jesus as we continue down this month of June where we honor the Sacred Heart. Sacred Heart of Jesus, pour out your benedictions upon the Holy Church, upon its priest, upon all his children. Sustain the just, convert the sinners. Assist the dying, deliver the souls in purgatory. Extend over all hearts the sweet empire of your love. Of your love. Sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. All right, so here we go. Merry day by day, and actually, the verse is what's really, I think, inspired our time together this morning, and it's from Matthew 7, 11. If you, evil as you are, know how to give good things to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? And the reflection today is from St. John Vianney. Again, we do have a beautiful uh, relic of St. John Vianney with us, so he's here with us in a special way. Everything that the Son asks of the Father is granted. Likewise, everything that the Mother asks of her Son is also granted. Oh, St. John Vianney, pray for us. Here's the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Oh, Mary, as our loving Mother, you have our happiness at heart. Inspire me to ask only for those things that will further God's glory and the salvation of souls, including my own. Name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So both that prayer and actually the verse in Matthew kind of shape what we're speaking about today. So again, we're going to go into the Word of God and into the section which is called the Beatitudes. So you find this in Matthew 5 and forward. And you know what? It's one of those places, again, where there is a lot of red. I did a Devotions with Dennis about, wow, that's a lot of red. It was from uh, the Gospel of John, chapters you know, 14 to 17. I mean, it's just pages and pages of red, which is basically Jesus uh, teaching us and telling us and revealing to us things that are, of, of course, incredibly great importance to our lives. So in this case, we're going to pull something out of the Beatitudes, and it's actually from Matthew 7. And this really is a great way to uh, learn and discover some things within the category which I call practical Christianity. So let's, let's just take a read here. Judge not that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye but do not notice the log that is in your own eye. Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Okay, at first glance, we might say, wow, this is all pretty harsh stuff. Well, you know what? When Jesus speaks many times, it can seem very, very harsh because it seems even almost counterintuitive to even our nature. But, you know, when we unpack it a little bit, we realize, wow, there's a lot of great news in here. There's a lot of great advice. And you know what? It helps us as Christians in very practical ways really live lives of joy and peace. So, Think about it. He's saying, you know, judge not and you will not be judged. So he's, he's really making this point, the Lord is, of, you know, we're not to be these critical, judgmental people. Um, but notice what he's saying. And, and he ties this into the, this thought of, you know, if you do that, you're kind of like a hypocrite because take the log out of your own eye first. 
So here's something really cool that uh, I think we can glean from this particular verse. Notice that he's not saying that you can't help others Um, maybe along their path, helping souls get to heaven, which is what we're supposed to be doing. We we, we even uh, prayed about that in our merry day by day. But he's giving us a way to do it. He's saying, first of all, look at yourselves. Realize that, you know, that we ourselves are broken, sinful people. You know, we we fall under God's judgment as well. Now, that's not to condemn us because we know from, from Scripture there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. No, it's, it's to glean something on and shine a light on ourselves so we say, okay, here's how the Lord wants to adjust me. Here's how the Lord wants to shape me. You know, he's the author and finisher of our faith. And that's why those of us who are consecrated to Jesus, to Mary and look at her example and follow her example, it, it just becomes, I find, a more of a painless process than the chiseling that happens without her. Uh, as it relates to our souls and sin and and all of that. So here's what Jesus is saying, though, in a very beautiful way, that if we do take the time to recognize, and this is where a good act of contrition obviously helps, uh, sorry, an examination of conscience, you say, you know what, yeah, I'm short in this area, this area, this area. This starts to begin to help us to not be pointing fingers at our brothers and sisters so easily. But notice what Jesus is saying. He's saying, If you do that with yourself, in other words, take these logs out of your own eyes, then you will be able to help that brother or sister with the speck in theirs. And think about it. When you think about taking a log out of your own eye, I mean, that's a real huge renovation. You're just allowing the Lord to come in and just really clean house. Whereas if you think about helping your brother or your sister by taking the speck out of their eye, boy, that's such a delicate thing delicate thing. We need to use delicate words. We need to be fragile. We need to be uh, sensitive. We need to be empathetic. We need to understand that, yes, they're sinners just like we are sinners. So imagine how much distress would be alleviated if all of us followed Jesus's approach here and were led by the Holy Spirit, led by the example of Our Lady. It is a spiritual game changer in the world because the reality the reality is sin is rampant in the world doesn't matter what you're watching on the news you know at the at the bottom of it it's it's sin people are acting out of sin we act out of sin but if we can humble ourselves before almighty god and recognize we are sinners who are we to judge another man's servant as as paul writes you know, then we can recognize that, okay, I recognize I'm not perfect either, but you know what, if the Lord is bringing me uh, in contact with somebody, a brother or sister, who may need a little bit of help with, some, uh, with something, uh, with a difficulty, a challenge, you know, Lord, use me to help take that speck out with love, with compassion and with prayer and with Our Lady's intercession. So brothers and sisters, there's, uh, I think, some great advice from Jesus today on just practical Christianity. I hope it helps you. It always helps me as I go over this particular uh, set of verses. So God bless you. Have a great day. And now let's end by singing to Our Lady the Cape. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of the Holy Rosary, I offer and give my prayers, sacrifices, Good works, time, talent, and treasure To your immaculate heart To do with as you please For the greater glory of God I thank God the Father For choosing you to be my heavenly mother I thank God the Son For giving you to me as he was dying For my sins and those of the whole world on the cross I thank God the Holy Spirit for the graces he gives me through you help me by your prayers to be faithful to the vows of my baptism help me by your prayers to accomplish all that God has planned for me in advance to do 
Amen, brothers and sisters. So have a wonderful day, as I said. Pray for me as I pray for you. Remember, we're just two days away from that final Canada 54 launch. Go to Canada54.com. Get all the information there. So have a great day and bye for now.